Hello my little subscribers, it's time for another video. Ah, uh, space. Some call it the final frontier, other call it, others call it a wide open space, not unlike the oceans before they were charted. Some would say it's a big empty vast of nothingness, only populated by small bits of anything actually interesting. A place where you could go many years traveling in one direction, but never encountering anything other than the cold blackness of space and the stars to guide your way. Those people have clearly never been here. As I can personally attest, it's a lot, lot less peaceful than that. It's a chaotic mess up here. Turns out being in space doesn't change that much. But that's the funeral there. So, you see Earth? You see this Earth here? Yeah, it turns out it's still a busy place even up here. Mostly just the neighbors. And by neighbors, I mean aliens. Yeah, aliens are real, get over it. Turns out after like the third day you know about it, it gets super boring as you realize they're not much that different from us, so it's not really worth talking about. But yeah, aliens are up here, and they're pretty boring. You see, apparently there's this thing called the Galactic UN, yes, that's its actual name, and apparently a few thousand or a million years ago, I haven't been able to get exact numbers on that, Earth was Earth and many other places in the galaxy were deemed primitive zones, where everything was supposed to be the Stone Age. However, due to what I can only describe as corporate bureaucracy, that law was also revoked, but also not revoked, so at least Earth is weird middle ground where the UN isn't entirely sure whether it should let us join the Council or blow us back to the Stone Age. Either way, that puts us doing fine, and trust me, they won't make a decision on it for a few thousand years, so we should be okay. But anyway, it does leave in a weird middle ground where most people don't want to touch this corner of the galaxy, which is not good enough for our development. But it also does lead to some really weird incidents of smuggling operations and that kind of thing. Luckily, in all corners, it's relatively peaceful. The only major installation we have here is a galactic bar on Pluto. They make great eggs, but that's beyond the point. So, as I mentioned, aliens are real. I hear there's a lot of them, but I'm only aware of four of them that commonly come around the solar system, aka our little corner of the galaxy. And they're honestly, eh, I I'll just give you the rundown. You might notice some similarities. There's a reason for that. Anyway, here are the gray aliens, or the green aliens, or as I just call them, the grays. These guys are funny. Like, they're just, the short... They're, they're, they say they're smart, but I've ve seen very little testament to that fact. And overall, they're just kind of annoying. Like, they're only saying they're doing something really smart and scientific, but in reality, I'm pretty sure they're just making toast. They're honestly not that interesting. The only interesting thing about them is that they seem to have increased potential for psychic abilities, and the only one of the funny traits is that you can tell that supposedly you can tell which gender they are by whether they have gray or green skin. However, I haven't been able to determine which is which, because any time I try to ask them, they get irritated with me, saying I should obviously know that. And apparently they get super annoyed when you mix them up, so just avoid calling them by any pronouns, because you'll mess it up. I, I don't know what they want out of me. But yeah, I heard they once were originally this really powerful race that was really strong and conquered a bunch of the galaxy. But then apparently mass cloning got really bad and their genetics slowly degraded. Which is weird because I'm pretty sure the frozen embryos and stuff should have been able to preserve that genetic memory on like a hard drive or something. But from, I, I guess they were always taking the genetic information from the clones or something. I don't know. I don't even know if they're actually capable of natural reproduction anymore. I don't want to ask. But yeah, they're honestly not that interesting. They're all the most common around here though. So, you know, if you happen to crash into a spaceship, um, I hope you brushed up on your gray language course. Or, if you're like me, just be lucky enough that everyone out here seems to know English. The next race you got concerned you was at the Nordics. I think they have another name, but I mostly call them the Space Elves. Yeah, you might think they're elegant, wise, and very smart. They're none of these things. They're proper picks. And by that I mean, yeah, they're beautiful by at least some standards. You know, they got the whole tall thing going on, all that jazz. They live longer and all that nice stuff. They kind of look just like humans, a bit Nordic, although I have noticed an increase in black hair rather than blonde hair. And occasionally red, and there's some pinks and blues, but I'm pretty sure those are just people dying it. Anyway, they're- but they are extremely smug. Like, the smuggest elf you've ever seen. They all think they're just the hottest, hottest thing since sliced bread. And they- and I don't know why they all think this. From what I understand, the home world is actually a lot like Earth. In fact, there's apparently a rumor among the galactic community that they somehow have a connection to humans. And by that, I mean there might be some lost colony, but I think that's mostly just a myth. But either way, they don't like being compared to us. So don't compare you to them. Especially don't call them Nordics. Just call them anything else. 
they they will they will then spend the next five hours yelling to you about how they are so much better than the Nordics of all Earth. And I think they're wrong on that standard, but whatever. Um, they like they actually don't have increased psychic potential, which I found kind of shocking. I thought they would have. The main tr though they do have the interesting advantage that they can naturally walk around Earth without anyone noticing them. From what I've heard a lot of people speculate that a lot of celebrities of them, but I've seen no evidence of this truth, so I tend not to believe it. Also, because most aliens don't hang out on Earth. Turns out, when you see one galactic backwater plant, you've seen them all. Uh, but the next next major alien race that comes around are the reptilians. Yeah, lizard boys. They're real. Uh, except for they don't actually hide around in public governments. Because that's the soy boy way of conquering a planet. The shad way of conquering a planet like they commit to is beat them up, beat up your mightiest warriors until you submit. You know, it's a more respectable form of combat. Anyway, they're a warrior culture. Um, from what I hear, they have a bit of a matriarchy going on, but I haven't been able to confirm it too well, as I've only really counted the males of the species in inconsistent records. I have, a, I think most of the, I think a lot of the times they send out the males to do random missions, which since there are no natural alien nests here, they haven't seen very many females myself. Um, you know, they're big, they're green, they're scaly, and tough as nails, because I've gotten into a few fights with them, and my, and weapons are a lot less effective against them. Like, my blasters here will generally cut through gray and Nordic flesh like it's no problem, but these guys actually put up a bit of a fight, so if you ever get into a fight with them, I highly recommend you bring higher caliber weapons, like a shotgun, or you just keep on firing. Range is your friend, they love melee combat, stay out of melee combat with them, they are very strong. And those are the three major intelligent races. They're part of the Galactic UN, and they're generally about as small as a human, and they just exist. Oh, and then all the bug aliens. Yeah, I don't know where they come from. Apparently, there's supposed to be a whole lot of types of them, but from my understanding, literally everybody just calls them bug aliens because there's like so many different types and there's practically so little difference between them. Literally, who cares? And anyway, they multiply, I think they got a hive mind going on, they're not very smart. Um, on the bright side, they don't tend to come up with their souls as much, because they can actually wreck a planet if you don't have the right weapons. Like, they could just eat your planet raw. On the bright side, they mostly just hang out on Mercury. But if you do ever happen to get into a fight with one of them, here's my advice. Bring plasma weapons, and lots of them, like mine. Always bring plasma weapons, even your melee weapons should be coated with plasma. They're, it, apparently their carapace is vulnerable to it. No one knows exactly where they come from. Some say they come from the core, others say they come from another galaxy. My opinion is they just came out of some rock somewhere and refused to die. Like that's like a spider. Ugh. I hope that's a spider variant. But yeah, those are the aliens that commonly live on, they live in the soul system. By live, I mean hang out here for like five minutes and then leave. Oh, in case you might know, they don't, they don't come down to Earth, they haven't manipulated events, and as far as I know, that bar where most of them hang out, has only been open since around the 1960s. And any time they do show up, it's, from what I heard, from what I've been able to gather, literally any time they've actually come to Earth was literally just when they would got drunk at the bar and then challenge themselves to steal the Mona Lisa or something. Um, has anyone checked the Mona Lisa recently, by the way? But, that's beyond the point. They aren't, they aren't actually part of any worldwide conspiracy. And, like, they even, like, joke about it. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. But yeah, oh, and if you happen to come up into space, um, can someone, like, please explain to these people what, like, air conditioning is? Like, no, really, like, they have these things, okay? It's like these little spheres, they act like air conditioners, okay? That makes sense. But these things just float around, and all they do is, is like, freeze a tiny bit of an area of a spaceship. I swear, I had to spend, like, an entire week installing proper air conditioning into this thing. I had to spend my time boiling when I was on, and it got anywhere close to a hot object. I swear, these people not know where the air conditioning is. Anyway, that's my video. Enjoy here's your little knowledge, that's your little crash course on aliens around here. Do Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're gonna become a subscriber. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.